Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Gold's trading around 1710. Relative strength is very, very good in through here. The last nine day indicators are very strong. In addition, we're right trading close to the 1728, which is the midpoint in the previous decline. Any, any close above 1728 is a sign that 1800 is in the forecast uh, very short term. And so we're encouraging you to be aggressively accumulating gold. Uh, we also, if you have an interest in fixed income to change the subject, we've located some very interesting fixed income investments that are giving our clients very, very solid double-digit returns. But that's a separate subject. So call me up on 781-380-8888. Uh, the back office broker-dealer ICAP, a major European player, has now prepared its systems for a complete Eurozone meltdown. Uh, they say this is contingency planning, but you don't need a weatherman to tell you which way the wind is blowing. The Japanese mutual fund giant Kokuzai, I'm sure I'm not saying that uh, correctly, Kokuzai has sold all of its holdings in Italy, Belgium, and Spain. A couple of months ago, they sold all of their French holdings. Again, a sign of where people think things are going. Watch that money move into U.S. dollar-denominated assets. Watch that money move into gold. Uh, we have seen a tremendous result from Black Friday or Black Monday or whatever you want to call it. The question we're raising is, how much money are the retailers making? Uh, how much pressure is this big sale put on margins? I know they're desperate for money. But uh, it'll be interesting to determine, you know, when you're selling games for $15 that used to sell for 60 how much money are you making? Or are you actually losing money as this goes on, continues along? Uh, our next comment uh, is that it has come to our attention that the Chinese are beginning to buy significant European assets. This is very important. Um, because it's a sign that uh, in the super real estate level, I mean villas and things of that nature, uh, and in the uh, uh, well-to-do precincts, the Chinese buyers are doing the same thing that they're doing in London. They're buying uh, heritage properties that can't be replaced. And it's a sign that over the long haul, they think owning property in Europe is going to be a good thing. Now, it doesn't mean anything in terms of their view of the current Eurozone crisis, um, but there's a lot of factories and a lot of other things that can also be built, excuse me, can also be bought by the Chinese in Europe. <clears throat> this leads us back to a point from the other week. Uh, wealthy Chinese are not only sending their uh, wives and children abroad, uh, they're building bases of operation outside of China. They want to be under the rule of law. Uh, there are serious questions uh, arising about the level of thievery uh, by the so-called princes, the families of those who uh, were on the long march uh, with Mao and the families of those who survived uh, uh, the, um, uh, I forget what they call it, revolution they had uh, um, <clears throat> in the mid-70s. So um, a lot of people in China are also sick and tired of the environmental conditions. They don't realize how bad the environmental conditions are till they go to Hong Kong and they go into other countries that are free. And so, uh, you know, they make a trip to California or something, and we, you know, think of California as, you know, horribly polluted. Polluted, but believe me, compared to Shanghai, it's absolutely nothing. So uh, those factors, then, the desire for the rule of law, clean climate. Um, and the better living conditions available are setting up a scenario in which many wealthy Chinese are building alternative lives for themselves outside of China. Um, that's got to be of great concern to the ruling element in the Chinese Communist Party. So uh, lots of interesting stuff for today. Watch that gold price. Remember our prediction of gold 2000 by the end of the year. And uh, we're still thinking gold's going to be 1850 by the end of the week. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a great day.